Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so here we are on the 14th June 2020 to analyze the result of the profile of last week uh, from the 8th June 2020. So, we are on odd USD. Odd USD, we have a first level that touched right here with this bearish pin bar. So, breakout entry didn't uh, touch the retracement entry. So, we, we take two rewards only and it's a winning trade. After that, We've got a doji right here, and we wanted to buy this specific level or to sell once it's broken. So the first touch of it, doji, we take a breakout and we take two reward, and it's a winning trade also. After, we got the second touch of a monthly strong level right here, and it made a bearish pin bar. So this pin bar taking out of the breakout didn't retrace, so you only have the breakout to enter, and this one made two reward also. So it's a winning trade again. So we have one, two, three winning trade already on odd USD. After that, we have the next level. We have a railroad track right here. And you could eventually have entered this one at a retracement entry or breakout entry. And it's still running, so I don't count it. Other CAD. Other CAD. So what do we have? We have same. We have these monthly levels that made a very nice pin bar right here. And after it made a second pin bar when it retouched. So you can take this trade as a sell, two reward, a breakout entry. It's a winning trade. After that, we get a railroad track for this level that we wanted to buy. So this one is also a winning trade. After price retouched the level, made a doji, doji, breakout of this doji is still winning, going down. So same here. After that, odd CHF. Odd CHF. So I wanted to buy this level and it was my mistake. Uh, price made a very sweet pin bar going up. I took this trade and this trade is a losing trade. So one loss right here. After that, we have this specific candle, but it's not really a pin bar. The pin is not too, is not long enough to qualify as a pin bar. After that, we get a railroad track right here. Breakout entry has already made 1.5 reward. So this one is also a winning trade. And we have one loss right here and one win right here. Odd New Zealand. So odd New Zealand, we have a pin bar, but very huge candle. So you could have entered eventually at the end of this candle right here, stop loss right here. And you take in this specific case, since the candle is very big, two reward, it's enough. And after, on the first level that we wanted to sell this one, it made a very nice pin bar, double pin bar, retracement entry triggered. And this one is a winning trade with three reward. At this level, we have eventually one loss right here with this nice pin bar on the second touch and retrace on entry triggered but it triggers a stop loss also so we have one loss right here and finally we have a doji at the level but my arrow was not for a sell so we wouldn't have taken this specific doji for a sell at this moment let's see it let's go on odd gpy odd gpy what do we get very strong level of resistance right here made a pin bar last week and at the beginning of the week made a pin bar again or a railroad track. Both trade one, two and three reward for this one. First level, I wanted to buy and eventually sell this level. We got um, uh, inverted hammer, so we wanted eventually to trade the breakout, but it didn't trigger the breakout. But I can count one loss because eventually you could have taken this one as a sell, and this one triggered the stop loss after. But then it made a bearish pin bar right here, and this bearish pin bar for a sell is a winning trade. After, we got a pin bar at this specific level right here. This qualifies as a pin bar. And it's a losing trade right here. And that's the only trade on this chart. Now let's look at Odd Singapore. Odd Singapore touched to the pip my level and reverse. Made a pin bar, pin bar, broken down, winning trade. After that, there is a chance to re-enter right here. Retracement of this pin bar, round number. Or eventually the breakout of this pin bar. So we have one winning, two winning. I count only the first right here. And after price breaks the level, breaks the level. No, that's it. There is no other trade right here. Now Euro odd. So Euro odd, we have a level right here, but didn't make any pattern for a buy or sell. 
he made eventually this doji broken up or broken down and we have eventually one losing trade right here now let's look on gbp odd gp odd what do we get we got this white weaker level right here but made a railroad track so you could have taken this one and it made actually the 1.5 reward so this is a winning trade and after that doji didn't break down so there is no trade for a sell uh, actually the doji break up so you could eventually have entered this one for a buy a little buy with one reward and after it didn't touch the next level so i didn't enter any trade after that cad chf so we have very strong level monthly level of resistance can act as, as a support in the future and on friday it made a huge pin bar right here this pin bar retracement entry triggered and it's a huge winning trade for a sell and eventually if you miss this re-entry you could have taken this bearish angle thing for a sell at the breakout because the retracement didn't trigger so this is a winning trade right here eventually two and three winning trade after that you have a doji broken up so you have a losing trade on this level and once this level is broken uh, as you can see very nicely it made a bearish angle thing and this is a winning trade i don't count it but it was a possible entry right here after that uh, hammer didn't trigger so there is no trade right here and it's too low so i will not have entered this trade either now cad jpy cad jpy we have a level that we wanted to buy or sell and we have a railroad track and a pin bar bearish pin bar right here so retracement entry triggered and the railroad track triggered whatever so you get two or three reward minimum on this trade and if you hold with experience you could make a huge 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 reward on this trade after that uh, next level doji didn't trigger the breakout so there is no trade for a buy after that we have a pin bar right here so there was a trigger for a buy and it's a losing one but after that there is a bearish pin bar right here and this pin bar broken down is a winning trade for a sell so there is one win on top uh, one loss at this pin bar and one win going down and now right now we have a bullish angle thing candle going up retracement entry didn't trigger and the breakout made one reward already chf gpy so we got uh, eventually a sell or a buy on this specific level we have uh friday on monday we have a pin bar at this level bearish pin bar strong level retracement entry did trigger stop loss right here this one is a winning three reward trades after that if you miss this entry there was an angle thing bearish candle right here you could eventually have taken the retracement entry stop loss above this and it made like one two two rewards so far for this trade for a sell now let's look at uh, there is a trade eventually on Friday, but when the market closes, you don't enter trade. CHF Singapore. So I wanted to sell this market, and market proved me wrong. It made a huge candle breaking the level, so after that I wanted to buy, and it didn't touch the level, so there is no trade to take in account. Singapore JPY. So I made the buy arrow on this one, and I should have made double sense, but I didn't. So. I wanted to buy it didn't appear this way so i didn't take this trade for a sell even if there was a railroad track and a beautiful pin bar right here after that this level didn't make any pattern next level made a pin bar and this one is a losing trade right here and after we have an angle thing of this candle and eventually uh, you could have made a bit of reward before the market close on friday or we wait next week for a retracement entry in the middle of this angle thing for a buy right here stop loss below and we expect to three reward if it retouch and make a nice move now gold so gold was in a downtrend and it breaks the trend so we have a pin bar right here and this one was a losing trade after that there is an angle thing i wanted to sell still a downtrend and this sell was a losing trade also so now i will want eventually to buy and i will search for next for level to buy next week silver silver no level touch euro usd no level touch and making a pattern except on friday night so we don't trade this trade we don't enter the market right away on friday if you enter on thursday and eventually you can hold during the weekend if the market move in your direction but on friday night it's dangerous to enter your trade eurocad um, so eurocad i wanted to sell and there was a very nice pin bar retracement entry and actually how many pips 
30 and it made a 60. So this one could have been break even, but I will count it as a loss, so worst case scenario. So we have one loss here, but you could have still made two rewards right here. And after that, at this level, eventually for a buy or sell, it made the pin bar. So you could have entered at this retracement entry right here, and it would have made one reward before going against you. So it's a losing trade right here. Euro CHF. So buy or sell this level. So we got a very nice, beautiful doji break up or break down. And this one is a winning breakdown. We made two rewards. After that, we have another doji, another doji, and this doji breakdown is also a winning trade for a sell. After that, we have a pin bar, bearish pin bar retracement entry for a sell still, since the arrow are in both direction. And this one is a winning trade for three reward again. So we have one winning, two winnings, three winning on this specific chart. Two level winning and eventually two trades at the same level. So you would have taken only one. Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand want to sell or buy those level. And we got this engulfing bearish. Retracement entry triggered and it's a losing trade. After that, there is not really an entry right here. No, no entry. And no entry right here. So that's it. Only one loss on this chart. Euro JPY. So I wanted, we have a monthly support and resistance right here that we can buy or sell. And market made a very huge add the round number just above. Pin bar, pin bar, pin bar. And after angle thing right here. When it made this angle thing closing around the level, you could have entered a trade right here, stop loss right here. And this one is a huge winning for a sell. You know that this line is a monthly M min. Monthly SNR means support and resistance. That's why you can sell this level. It's the strongest level on my chart. After that, what do we get? We get this bullish angle thing right here. So this one is a losing trade. After that, what do we get? We get this angle thing bearish plus a pin bar. So eventually you have a retracement entry, stop loss above here, and it's a sell winning trade. And finally, we have a bullish angle thing right here, retracement entry eventually right here. And this one is just a little bit above break even, a little profit at Friday end of the day. Okay, here we are on Euro Singapore. So I wanted to buy this level and we have a railroad track right here, retracement entry trigger, and this is a losing trade. That's the only trade on this chart. Euro Hong Kong. Euro Hong Kong, I same, I wanted to buy this level so and buy this level so i buy this level with an angle thing this one is a beautiful two reward winning trade breakout trade after that there is a railroad track so i wanted to buy retracement entry this one is a losing trade for a buy so we have one buy win one buy loss right here and that's it on the chart and let's look at euro knock or euro knock made a huge huge trade so this level could have been bought or sold and price breaks the level but with doji candles which is very weak and it made eventually those two pin bar so you could have lost eventually one sell right here and after when you see this candle breaking very violently the level and the next is this pin bar bullish pin bar very strong pattern right here you take this trade and you made like five reward in the matter of two days it's a huge huge, huge beautiful trade so and that's it one loss and one win on this chart worst case scenario gbp usd so i wanted to buy this level and i was wrong and uh, the only trade that was uh, happening was eventually uh, this doji breakout could have triggered and eventually you have one loss right here after that this level i wanted eventually to buy or sell so you have 800 ema which is a very strong ema this doji could have been taken making one reward not a lot but still made it and after reverse against us gbp chf so i wanted to buy this level and it was around the 800 ema you can see once again 800 ema this line on the forward chart very powerful and there was a pin bar on friday so i didn't take this sell but this sell was huge and uh, i took eventually this buy which was a losing trade and I take eventually this pin bar right here, which is a losing trade also. And when it made this angle thing bearish going down, you could eventually have entered as a sell right here. And this one, a winning, this one was a winning trade. And finally, this level worked. 
uh, but there is no real pattern for a buy. There is railroad track, but it's an inverse railroad track, so not good for us. And after this, uh, this one worked for a buy, but I don't count it. GBP, JPY. So monthly, very nice level right here. Made a pin bound Monday or dodgy breakdown. Any anyway, those candle is a huge winning trade for a sell. Uh, after that, what do we get? We get this doji eventually broken up by a few. This one is a losing trade. So one win, one loss. After we got a pin bar, which is a losing trade right here. And this one could have been taken for a sell, but I forgot to make a double arrow. So my bad. We don't count this trade. So we count only one loss, two loss, and one win with three reward. Uh, still in profit on this chart. GBP Singapore. So we have a very beautiful pin bar on Friday. After that, we have an angle thing, retracement of the angle thing, stop loss above, didn't trigger, and this one is also a huge winning sell trade. And that's the only trade we have eventually is this one for a sell on Friday. But Friday, it's dangerous because of the weekend. So I don't count this one. I count only the beautiful winning at the monthly resistance. GBP try. GBP try, what we can see is touch the level, make a doji, didn't break, make a doji, break. And this make an angle thing bearish candle. Retracement entry triggered or breakout. Both are solid winners. Two and three reward that sit on this chart. Euro GBP. So Euro GBP, I thought price will continue to come down after this nice head and shoulder right here. And it didn't. So price made a fake out. Uh, eventually this one you could have taken for a sell and this one is a losing trade. And after that, it made a beautiful pin bar at the level plus an angle thing. You have two chances to enter for a buy, but my arrow wasn't correlated with this. So I don't count the winning, I just count the loss. GBP sec uh, didn't touch any level except from last week. This level was from last week and it's a beautiful winning six reward trade. And uh, GBP knock, uh, GBP knock, uh, there was nice trades too. Monthly support, we can take in both directions. Price made an angle thing right here. Retracement entry triggered at the round number. Stop loss right here. And this one made maybe seven uh, reward already. I count three uh, maximum, don't worry for that. Uh, after that, we get this monthly level of resistance right here. And you could eventually have lost this trade for a sell right here. And I count this one as a loss. New Zealand USD. So I wanted to buy this first level and it made a dodgy breakout of the dodgy is a winning trade. After that, second level made nearly a railroad track. I didn't take it, but eventually you could have taken this trade at a retracement and it's still running with around maybe two reward right now, which is not a bad trade. It's a good trade. After that, New Zealand CAD. So we have very strong monthly resistance. Price didn't make anything right here, but it made a several doji broken down right here. You could have made one reward on this doji breakout. And eventually there is this pin bar right here. You could have entered right here and you made two reward also on this one. So I don't count it, but you could have made still two reward on this trade. And that's all for New Zealand CAD. New Zealand CHF. Um, nice trades uh future support if it breaks up so i didn't want to sell yet this level i wanted to buy so he made the railroad track retracement entry triggered stop loss was very tight and it made two rewards so it's a break even trade right here and since my arrow wanted to buy i don't count this one but this one was a bearish angle thing you could have taken this trade it's a beautiful three reward winning trade and at the monthly level right here we have a railroad track and eventually the breakout of this railroad track is, al is already a winning trade with two rewards. So we have one beautiful win, uh, one break even right here. And eventually you could have sell with, sold with uh, more than two rewards, but I don't count the sell. New Zealand GPY. So my level were both direction, all of them. So I have eventually this, uh, no, I couldn't enter this trade. I could eventually have entered this bearish angle thing right here. Retrace one entry, stop loss above right here. Or above here if you're more aggressive. This one was a winning trade. After that, there was this 
doji but didn't break up so there is no entrance for a buy and after there is a pin bar right here so you could have lost this trade and there is an inverse pin bar right here bearish and this one was a winning beautiful sell at the level so to count the trade you have eventually one win at the angle thing beautiful big candle going down and the pin bar going down too so you have two winning trades on this chart and one loss for a buy knock gpy eventually so same buy and sell you have eventually this possible bearish pin bar right here breakout beautiful trade winning trade after we have this angle thing right here and this angle thing is still running with one reward or could have made already one reward with this trade or well, depending on the spread you might still be on a trade if the spread is too big maybe you don't trade this specific pair sec gpy i wanted to buy so i don't have any trade right here i wanted to buy this one so i don't have trade either and i wanted to buy this one and eventually you have one loss at this level that's it usd cad we got a beautiful trade exactly at my level see price touch this monthly support right here made a huge bullish pin bar i entered this trade and this one is a 2.5 reward already uh, after that uh, you have eventually this trade with an angle thing bearish right here and you could have taken one reward already or you can wait for two when it will reach this level since we have a very strong impulse move going up i think the price will continue to move up for at least two more nice pushes usd gpy i was uh, wrong in the whole trend here so price broke my level right here after that it made a doji gave eventually a losing trade for this doji and after break the doji down so you could eventually have entered the sell but i don't count it so i count only one loss right here and that's it for usd jpy usd chf same i wanted to sell this level and i was not wrong on this one price made a very nice angle thing right here and i you could have entered eventually this one for a sell stop loss above here and it's a huge like four reward trades i count only two when it's breakout and just to remind you after at the level you have a doji broken up so you have eventually one loss right here and eventually a re-entry right here when this bullish angle thing triggered because it's nearly at the level and price just take a bit the level and continue to push up and it's already 1.5 to reward winning trade so one loss and one win two win really. usd singapore so eventually buy or sell we have a bearish angle thing right here and this one is a winning beautiful sell trades and that's it for the week the usd czar i wanted to sell this level no and i have no entry at this specific two level so no trade usd polonia we have a beautiful trades so last week price made this angle thing right here retracement entry is around here and after that we have a bearish pin bar retracement entry around here stop loss here both trade have a stop loss below this spike which means they are safe and they win both of them beautiful trade price was in a range all week but still it made us win usd danish krona what do we got so we got eventually one loss because we have a pin bar last week retracement entry triggered and it's a losing trade and after that we got uh, one doji right here breaking up so eventually one other losing trade and after we have a set of railroad track plus this pin plus this beautiful pin bar at the end of this pin bar you can enter and it's a beautiful winning trade with two reward so two losses and two reward winning so break even on this pair usd cnh we got one level right here nearly made the railroad track i didn't take it but this could have been one and i think there was one level here i will not count it but right here and we have a nice pin bar right here because i have my arrow so maybe one of the level went out so and this level with this specific pin bar retracement entry made five reward already so it was a beautiful trade also but i don't count it since it doesn't appear on the chart right now so gbp new zealand gp new zealand there is nothing on the chart so there is no trade so this week i have counted the number of reward and for the week there is 95 reward profit minus 35 losing trade so overall there is around 40 trades winning and uh, 35 trades losing 
and 95 reward minus 35 makes 60 reward profit for the week times your size which is usually two percent it makes you win 120 percent profit for the week so i hope you took advantage of it and if not uh, the rule of thumb is to start to play with my profile on demo account and when you make consistent profit with the demo account then let's say you multiply it by six then you can go with real money i let my profile analysis free on my telegram channel for a while maybe one year maybe a bit more so you have time to train yourself and you have time to take advantage of this and uh, needless to say that 120 percent in one week for my all analysis it's kind of a lot of money so i think it's worth putting in the work not losing your money until you master these specific uh, skills especially the entry with the four hour candlestick and once you do i wish you will make a lot of money so have a nice weekend i wish you success for next week and uh, see you then we are already at the end of the video subscribe for updates please like and share this video if you found the content useful Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.